Hey everyone, Reflected here, and today I'm going to show you some advanced DCS mission editor tricks. After publishing the video about the virtual crew chief feature of my new Viper campaign, I got many questions about how I did it. It's very simple really. You just need to know what you're looking for. Let me show you. For the sake of our example, let's say we want a message in a voice order to say parking brake set when the player says the parking brake. The first thing you need is the argument number of the given switch. You go to your main DCS folder, then mods, aircraft, F16, cockpit, and scripts. The argument number is in one of the Lua files, usually the clickable data.lua. Control F to find it. You never know what it's named exactly. It takes a bit of a search. Here it is. And the argument number is 357. Write it down somewhere. Then you open the model viewer and load the cockpit EDM file of your module. It's under Mods, Aircraft, F16, Cockpit, Shape. In this argument window here, you paste your number, so in our case it's 357. Then you play with the slider and note the values. So, minus 1 is the off position, 0 is anti skid, and plus 1 is the parking brake. With this, you can already set up your trigger. The condition you need is called X cockpit argument in range. The argument number is 357 for the Viper's parking brake, and the value we're looking for is 1. Don't put 1 and 1 to min and max though. Give it a little wiggle room to make sure the trigger fires. Say 0.9 to 1. The next position of the switch is the anti-skid which is 0, so 0.9 is far enough from that. Then on the right side you insert your action. Let's put a message saying parking brake set. Let's change the trigger to switch condition so that it fires every time the parking brake is set, not just once. Alright, let's test it in game. Ta-da! It works! You can combine this trigger condition with other switches or other conditions. With a little creativity, the sky is the limit to what you can achieve with this. You can even use it for gauge readings. There's another trick I want to show you. You can also make the mission flip that switch for you, if you want to. Let's say at mission start you want the player to spawn with the brakes on. First you open the mission editor.lua file under DCS mission editor. You change the options and command codes tooltip to true and then save the file. You'll need to do this again after every update. Then you open the control settings of the Viper and look for the parking brake. You hover the mouse over the cell and this little window will pop up. Cockpit ID 7. Command number 3014. Write it down somewhere. So you open the editor and set up the conditions when this needs to happen. Let's say 5 seconds after mission start. The trigger you need is X cockpit perform clickable action. ID 7. Command 3014. Value is usually 1, or if it's not binary, you can check the value in the model viewer. It may take some experimenting. Now let's test it in game. Voila, it works. The parking brake is set without the player having to touch the switch. There's just one more thing about these advanced triggers that I'd like to add. Such triggers bring the mission to a level of complexity that only works in single player. If there are two players, whose parking brake will it check or set? The host? How do you know which Viper the host will select? How do you set both parking brakes? And so on. It's a real can of worms. So when people ask me why my missions are single player only, this is why. Because the triggers are so complex and we barely scratched the surface today. Alright, I hope this was helpful and it will open up new possibilities for you and your missions. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya!